Hello. I'm sure you have old drywall anchors left in the wall like I do, so I'll show you how to remove them, even the ones that are glued in. In the second part of this video, I will show you how to fix and patch holes in plasterboard wall. To remove old drywall anchors, you will need a variety of tools, as well as a putty knife, finishing putty and some sanding papers to get a perfect result. To remove unglued drywall anchors, all you need to do is find a screwdriver of a suitable size and unscrew it by turning it anti-clockwise. More difficult to get out are glued drywall anchors, for a start you can try a little Phillips or minus screwdriver and try to unscrew it, if it doesn't work with a few tries. Then take a drill bit slightly smaller than your minus screwdriver and drill out the center of the anchors. Then push the slightly larger size of the minus screwdriver into the drilled hole. Then try to get the anchor out by moving and turning it anti-clockwise, it is difficult but with a little force, you can get it out. To be able to seal these holes better in the drywall, you first have to remove anything loose around holes, all loose things have to be cut off, the hole has to have a solid base. Then vacuum up all the debris and dust with a vacuum cleaner. Then clean holes thoroughly with a damp cloth. This will make the base more solid and stick better with finishing putty. Moisten the putty knife and take a little finishing putty on it, and spread it inside the holes, just enough so that it doesn't come out, your lay can't be thicker than a layer of plasterboard wall. Note that you will need to apply at least three coats to achieve a good result. As you can see, after a few hours the putty has dried and reduced in volume, sand the applied putty lightly with sanding paper so that the surface around the hole is smooth. Then remove the dust with a damp cloth, and apply a second coat of finishing putty. The putty should be applied in such a way that no excess remains on the drywall, as the surface will then be bumpy and it is difficult to sand off dried putty, so try to apply it accurately. If the second coat of putty is good, then a third coat of putty may not be applied. After that, you have to sand the last coat, prime and paint, but I'll show that in another video. If you have any suggestions or questions, feel free to post them below this video. Good luck!